Hugh Hagerty here. I'm a hedge cutting contractor in Ovens County, Cork. Um, we're here today just looking at a tractor we bought new. Uh, we're after refurbishing the tractor. The tractor has about 34, 35,000 hours done. Its engine was never opened. Its gearbox was never opened. It's after probably eight or 10 sets of tires, many clutches, rads, bits and pieces but the rust got to it eventually. It was bought new with the ploughing match in 1998. My wife and myself bought it. It was the first new tractor we ever had. We had all tractors before that. We started with a 5000, we moved to a 69, and then we eventually bought a new tractor. The tractor has served me well. It's probably the hardest working tractor in the yard that I have. I have bigger tractors. This tractor drew a lot of stuff out of Cork City in building booms. It has been on the tanker. It paid for most of what I have in the yard. It has done a pile of hedge cutting. Very suitable tractor for hedge cutting, not so great for haulage. Uh, there's one gear lever, does all the gears, which means there's a bit of an overlap in changing gears with a heavy load. When you're hedge cutting, that doesn't come into play, so you have one hand on the joystick, and you have the other hand free to do the gear lever and the steering, and you can get every gear in it. You have plenty of gears in it. It's a very nimble, light tractor with a lot of pep, even to this day. A friend of mine, Vincent Burke, has actually restored the tractor a lot with me, apart from a couple other lads helped me, Noel and Anthony and Oliver and a few. And realistically, the parts are, were not all able to get the parts, and so there was a lot of cutting out of bits. It was from the debris off of the hedge cutter laying on it because it done a lot of sawing that time. Like I say, it, to this day, the tractor is still serving us very well, so we put a lot of money into it to get it right, but it's probably going to go into semi-retirement. We started uh, taking the tractor apart in January, just after Christmas last year. The whole restoration took about nine months. Um, I was kind of determined not to take the cab off it. I couldn't get some of the parts for the cab, but by the time there was a lot of welding and a lot of cutting, the floor was gone, some of the roof was gone, some of the side arches were gone. We had a fellow, Vincent Buck, took it apart, and put it together, welded in the things. He was magnificent at it. Then we had an Eddie Roach who sprayed it. He was unreal. And then we had help from the lads uh, Ollie and a few on the ground, they all drew stuff over to it and took it apart, I suppose. We didn't go at mechanics of the tractor because we're kind of leaving it at what it is. We're not going to work it to death. Hopefully it will stay going. Um, there's new rubbers gone in all over, but most of the stuff is genuine except some of the steel of the cab. We eventually, I gave in to taking the cab off because we were getting to an end. We couldn't spray where we should be spraying in underneath where it would start again. It got a massive coat of paint. So hopefully she'll be there longer than me and we'll see how it'll go.